2020 is the year of the staycation. And when you live in New Hampshire, that often means venturing up to the White Mountains. And for us, it meant camping in the White Mountains for a week. You have to go through Franconia Notch, a pass through the mountains used by the native tribes of the region. The Flume Gorge is one of those great places to visit, but that will have to wait for another day. Just past the Flume is Cannon Mountain, home to the Old Man of the Mountain, a rock formation that became the emblem of New Hampshire, even after it collapsed in 2003. Just north of the Notch, we reach our home for the week at Israel River Campground in Jefferson, New Hampshire, a place central to a lot of good hikes. We want to go here. Yeah, Lower Falls. So we want to go to the right. Hey, Marsh, you ready to go? Ready to go do some walking? Huh? Abby's ready to do some hiking. Okay. We are on a hike to the Lower Amanusik Falls here in Jefferson, where we're staying. As you can see, there's nobody here. Just us. It's a beautiful day. About 80 degrees. Yes, we are right next to the highway. So you can hear the highway noise. But a gorgeous day nonetheless. What do you think, Mars? You just don't trust this rock, do you? Are you getting tired of this? Abby, Abby, sit, sit. Well, we're at Lower Amanusik Falls. It's loud. We are here at the falls, and uh, we've got the pups here with us. They're enjoying the day. See the falls behind us. Beautiful day. Couldn't have asked for a nicer day. Problem is, Abby wants to go to at a uh, breakneck speed, and Mars is more of a slow, take it easy kind of guy, which I understand. See the buttercups and the ferns. Where is he? There he is. 
Oh, you see the flowers? Dad, let me smell the flowers. Well, you told me to not let him stop and... No, he can smell the flowers. Oh. Just don't let him eat them. <laughs> So we just had a nice little walk. It, how many miles? A mile? Mile round trip. Mile yeah. And the dogs did really good. Mars was a little tentative at some times, but um, he minds well and he listens if you tell him to step up or step down. Um, he's really good about it. So it just takes him a little while. So now if we had Ziva with us, he would, she would get very impatient with them because he does take a little bit of time and she is just, uh, I think Abby's break, breakneck speed. Ziva was twice that. And we miss her too, a lot, really do. All right, well, we're off to the next stop. We're almost to our truck. It's right down there. And we'll be off to discover another waterfall. Here we are at Crawford Notch. This is the train station here. This is uh, known for a landslide that took place oh, back in the 1800s, I believe, and it actually was where we're headed. We were told to take the Avalon Trail and find the Cascade Loop. I guess we're on the right track. Come on, Mars. Mars did not like it. Very different than the last one we were just on. We're walking actually in the woods. So this is, this is gonna take us a little while. It's a little bit harder trail to walk with Mars. He's got so much he has to watch out for. The trail up here is pretty narrow. It's not like the other one was. And we got lots of rocks to go over. It's a rocky, a rocky trail, huh, Abs? I'm sure there's lots of Lots of different smells here. Well, we have been somewhat in a semi-drought, if you will. Not a whole lot of rain, so the uh, streams are a little bit smaller than normal. You ever hear of a clear pool of water in the mountains? There it is. Okay, we're gonna challenge Mars on this one. This is a, a pretty steep grade and all rock, ledge. Yeah, I guess so. And I don't know where we're going. I don't know if this is the, the right, Coming down is going to be the fun part. Well, Avalon Trail. Right here, huh? Okay. Maybe we should have checked <laughs> to see if this was an easier or a hard hike. gonna come down here. Come on, Mars. Yeah. Well, he's putting his nose out there to feel.
Well, where are we going? I mean, isn't that a trail right there? Oh, you might wonder where Abby is. There she is. She's in the pack. Good boy, Mars. Go. Come on. You're doing good. Talk about out of your comfort zone. All right, what do you smell? Lots of smells? Yeah. It's a little out of his comfort zone. Okay, now we're on the rocks, bud. You want to slide? Huh? That's what we're going down. Now we're on our descent. Back to civilization. Let's see how Mars is doing. He's doing good. He likes this trail a lot better. Yeah, he likes this side of it. It's not as rocky as what we were just on. So this has been our afternoon, hiking, enjoying the waterfalls, enjoying each other, enjoying nature. I'm with Robert Frost. I'll take the path less traveled, because that makes all the difference, according to Robert Frost. Getting to be probably four o'clock, I think. I can't look at my watch right now. But, uh, late afternoon. 5.30. 5.30? Wow. So we've had a good time today. Hopefully you've had a good day. At least we're not in the 92 degree heat down in central New Hampshire. We were hot yesterday. 90 degrees up here but uh, tonight's gonna get down to 51 degrees put on a sweatshirt and we're gonna go outside and have a fire and hopefully it stays clear and we can see some Perseid showers 